Good morning. So don't mind my morning face. I just woke up and uh, today's Thursday, July 18. And I'm eight weeks out from the Olympia. And today I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna show all my meals starting with breakfast. So let's go. So you all know I'm on prep and uh, I can eat whatever I want. I have my diet, the portion, you know, gotta be everything measured, everything exactly the way my coach gives me my diet. But now I'm gonna have just white because uh, things are getting serious. You know, eight weeks. So I don't really count my macros. I know how many calories I'm eating a day. And I have like an idea, but I don't like worrying about my macros when I'm prepping. Just like to follow the diet and you know, don't have to worry about counting. But this is around, probably around 20 grams of protein. And uh, I'm also gonna have oats. So it's gonna be around 25 grams of carbs. And almonds, there's around eight grams of fat. And I'll have fiber too. I'll have uh, spinach in my egg whites and tomato. They smell, oh my God. Peanut powder, a sweetened peanut powder. Peanut powder. It's like peanut butter, but without the fat. I try to drink the whole gallon. I usually do anything more, like plus coffees, you know? So. Oats, water. Uh, one tablespoon of peanut powder, uh, coconut stevia drops, and stevia powder. Mm. Oh, that was too much. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Most, like a lot of competitors, they do fasted cardio, but it doesn't work for me because I really wake up hungry. I did once fasted cardio, it wasn't working because I was always stressed. Usually my husband's here, I like to have breakfast with him. He's traveling today, so I'm having by myself. My mom and my niece, they are here, but they sleep a little more. So I use this stevia for my coffee. It's just like normal stevia, you know, like no flavorful. Uh, you need to eat because this is bodybuilding, you know. Like some people do it wrong, they stop themselves, and the body shows, you know, it shows like you're too depleted or you're too shredded. You get like you start eating the muscle when you do like too much low carbs. But for me, I'm doing this for six years, it's been 35 competitions, so I already know what works for me. Having very little carbs or zero carbs doesn't work for my body. Instead of looking better, I look worse. I look flat and, uh, and I don't have energy to train. So, you know, by the end, we, we're gonna be dropping the, the carbs a little bit slowly, you know, but I, I keep like a good amount of carbs my whole prep to the end and a good amount of fat. So it's very healthy. If you see my food is like, you know, good fats, lean protein, and good carbs. And you go like this. That's my mom, my beautiful mom. She's visiting from Brazil, right, mom? <laughs> Go have breakfast, but to a cafe. After 
training, I always get glutamine to avoid muscle catabolism. It's like burning the muscle and for recover. So I'm gonna eat some steak right now. And I try to buy everything organic. I have blueberries in my diet. Only strawberry I can choose. So I have both here organic, grape tomatoes, small tomatoes. And uh, so here I have, I cook my, my sweet potato in the air fryer. I have sweet potato, green beans. Uh, this is steak from Trifecta as well that I opened yesterday. I just stick to my diet. I don't care if anything's here, like ice cream, chocolate. I have everything in my house. I, you know, I, I'm never tempted to, to eat because uh, I know what I want, I know what I need to do. Spinach, I eat spinach twice a day. Eggs, always organic. I usually eat brown rice, like after training, you know, I have twice a day, but today's shoulders, so I'm still working on, you know, like building a little bit more shoulders. So I have white rice because it's a, uh, fast digesting carbs it's gonna give me like uh you know like gonna repair all the glucose that i burn so this is better for like you know like after training i eat night time like on my meal five salad for sweet potato i have like so much sweet potato because i eat sweet potato marco eats and thomas eats sweet potato so the whole family i take almond milk sometimes this is uh they gave it to me after my 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 victory my olympia victory last year but i'm not a big drinker and mark is not a big drinker as well so it's still here but i promise if i win the olympia this year and i will come on i will I'm gonna drink that, at least a glass. So I'm keeping there, you know, for, for this next Olympia to celebrate. Chicken, I have some extra, you know, because my family's here, so they need to eat too. And all kind of trifecta here, steak. This is very good, this is bison. Paris, but Paris, it's good. Here, you know, I cook my rice and I freeze it and keep it like this. So it's easier than I wanna eat. So this is white rice and I also have brown rice here. My post-workout meal, steak from Trifecta. So when I train upper body, I eat steak. It feeds my muscle better. If you're not competing, you don't need to wait your food like this. But for me, it's very important to keep everything measured. It's funny because a lot of people ask me like, wow, you don't cook your asparagus before? I like to eat it raw. I mean, I just cook it when I warm it up in the microwave for two minutes. I was eating half cup, but now it's down to one third cup. Having a meal prep company like Trifecta like makes my life so much easier because uh, you know, like you don't have to be cooking forever. You don't have to to go to the grocery store and uh, you know be there buying everything and then getting home, cooking. They also have like uh, ready, you know, meals ready to eat. So you know, like, you know how much calories you're eating, how much uh, grams of protein, carbs, everything is there. So it's easier for you to, to kind of like track your diet, you know, it can get any easier than this. So now time for my meal three. So it's oats with whey protein and strawberry. So I'll do this. My pray for two minutes, one minute and a half. It's different for everybody. You gotta listen and learn how your body works. Like for me, like most of competitors, they do low carb diets and uh, 
you know, like they very, very strict. But for me, if I, if I do low carb diet, my body just stop working. So, you know, like this is what works for me. And it's even good, like people that are listening, you know, you see like what I eat, how I prep, but don't try to do the same as I do. You gotta, you gotta learn how your body works. To be able to keep it, you, you have to like what you're eating. So, you know, like me and my coach, I have been working with the same coach for three years. And uh, he already know what I like to eat. And he respect that. So he always plan my diet. Like, you know, give me food that I enjoy. So I can really, you know, like every meal, of course, I'll eat more. I'll eat, I'll eat like double of this. You know, that's why it's a diet. But uh, it's important to really enjoy what you're eating. If you try to eat something that you struggle to eat, like every three hours, every day, you're not gonna be able to stick to it. Some people that don't compete, they don't understand a lot why I eat like every three hours. Um, the body speeds up when you eat, like, you know, like when you give your body feel like food all the time, your body he receives a message like, hey, I need to keep working here because, you know, she's feeding me. Mm -hmm. So I need to burn this food. So sometimes when I start my diet, like first week, I don't lose a pound. And it's kind of frustrating. Like sometimes I even gain weight when I start my diet. And for the first week, second week, I kind of like sometimes don't lose a pound or even gain a little bit. But and then the body gets like, and then I start to feel my muscles fuller. But I start to see my body changing, like the waist, the waist getting smaller, the muscles getting fuller, and uh, and my weight was going up, and I kind of like freak out, like, hey, oh my god, I'm gaining weight, you know, I'm supposed to drop weight. But after like one week, two weeks, the weight with the same food, your body just receives the message, hey, I need to work with this food because that's what she's eating now. Meal number four. I'll have chicken, so I have chicken from Trifecta, it's delicious, it comes cooked already. I'll have sweet potato and green beans, so... Mmm, the sweet potato. He loves the sweet potato, right? Mm -mm. Just after dinner for you. You're not gonna eat, I know you. <laughs> Give me a break. So it's dinner time, and for dinner, uh, I like to I always have chicken and uh, brown rice, avocado, and salad. So I'm gonna use the butter lettuce and also tomato. I always do something kind of like, like, kind of like Mexican style. And I put some uh, vinegar, some apple, apple cider vinegar. So it's, you know, it's like, it's spicy, a little spicy. And I'll let it cook a little bit. And then I'll add rice, one third cup of rice, brown rice this time. I had white rice for lunch, but now brown rice. I always use around like five, six grape tomatoes. Eating clean is good, guys so good <laughs> tastes good I promise you should try Salad. but uh, I love this vinegar because it really I feel that it detox the body and it's like very very acid and I, I love acid okay so with this meal I'll take two CLA one ALA and one uh, digestive enzyme and one vitamin C I put inside and one vitamin C. 
You want some, Thomas? Hmm? No. So my last meal is always egg whites with some healthy fat. So I'll have four egg whites and half ounce of almonds. So egg whites with spinach. Can you at least eat with strawberries? Yeah, I had strawberries. Really? Yeah. So this is a very light meal to have like before bed. It's uh, like it's no carbs, so you know, it's not gonna make you feel heavy before before going to bed. It's like egg whites and healthy fats, and it's not gonna make your glucose in your blood go up, which makes you because you, you don't need much energy because you, I'm going to sleep right now. We don't need a lot of sugar in the blood, right? That's all for today guys. I hope you guys enjoy seeing what I eat and uh, how I prep and how is my eating life in a day. And now I'm gonna enjoy this last meal with my family, watching a TV series that we love and go to bed. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.